So this probably isn't what you're expecting for before you buy from me. Um, unfortunately, my original recording did not have any gameplay sound. So I kind of have to re-record my initial reactions, which kind of stinks because I think I had some really good points, but the bundle includes the outfit, back bling, and tool, okay? You also get a loading screen. Um, it is going to be 1500 for the bundle and 2000 if you buy the skin and back bling separately. But this is the loading screen that comes with the bundle only. And I do believe from my memory, 1500 V bucks for the outfit, back bling tool and loading screen. So this is the final member of the seven. Okay. I think it kind of got rushed. Maybe that's just me. I feel like I got a little rushed with the last four members of the seven being released so closely uh, together. But I will tell you, I am a fan of the outfit, not the back bling. I'm also a fan of the helmet on, not the, let me talk to your manager haircut, okay? I'm a fan of the outfit and helmet, not a fan <laughs> of, the, of the haircut and the back bling. The combos were really tough with the actual uh back bling because i was trying to make it make sense now the rocket wing is part of the seven set and i thought i might as well use it here because it makes a lot of sense and this is the stealth edit style so the harvesting tool has a really good impact sound and a nice streak equip and equip keep in mind this is not my initial reaction i've already seen this before But it does sound really good. Nice impact as well. Very nice. Now, there are certain aspects of the back bling and tool that have a slight glow at night. But I do want you to pay attention to the harvesting tool blade. This could be classified as a reactive tool because the, like the, the actual blade does appear to glow after a swing. You see how it glows and it goes away? We got a glow on the blade and it slowly goes away. Well, it actually quickly goes away. This one to show you that. Now I do have the corrupted wrap because it does have a really fun theme when you have the helmet on. ADS is fine though. And I don't believe the wings. Okay, the wings pinch in when you crouch as well. That was very similar to the crew pack wings. Now, without the back bling and the helmet on, I think it looks amazing. It's a female Mandalorian. It looks so good. Um, I really tried to pinpoint more of a theme for the combos that I selected and I re-recorded. Keep in mind, the actual combos will not have gameplay audio, just audio in the background that I choose to place in the edit. Again, my apologies for having to re-record this. I thought my first initial reactions were really good um, and I didn't want to try to recreate that, but unfortunately, I think you guys deserve um, you know a good quality video but like i said i have permanent dust slide going on my feet here but i like the wrap with the mask styles or the helmet styles that's where it kind of plays in in terms of what i was going for for a combo it looks really clean without a back bling i don't like the wings i just i don't like them but regardless guys thank you for being patient and it is a really cool harvesting tool. I like the tool. I love the outfit. I don't like the back bling, but let's get into the combos. So I found it very enjoyable to find back blings for the skin, but not so much skins with the wings that we got tonight. Regardless, there was a little bit of purple on the outfit, so the full on wings kind of works. There are some very tough colors to match, specifically like that grayish green on her arms and her torso. Um, we'll see. I got a little bit of purple here as well. Again, black and red can't go wrong. Looks pretty cool too for a theme. Um, I really tried to dial in on themes here. This really isn't a color scheme, but kind of futuristic feeling. Um, kind of a Mandalorian stretch here with that. Um, a little bulky, but it does pretty much match that silverish metal that we're looking for. Yeah, the blue lights kind of throw it off, but it's still a pretty fun theme. This one as well, the, the, the cell shade is a little weird, but it still looks pretty cool for a theme. It kind of looks futuristic as well. I really like Frenzy. It's simple. It's got the red that lights up just like the red on the helmet. So I think that's pretty cool and a really fun theme again. Again, I think it's a fun theme here. This goes on everything and it looks great. 
I never used this, but I thought I would try to put it on her and it's I would say it's about 65% there Again, the blue accents there kind of throw it off. This is fun. I like it plasmatic gear um, Sigma hub goes with a lot of futuristic looking skins and robotic skins um, Starcrest flux haven't used this in quite some time Other like the colors are a little off But I still like the orientation of how it kind of sits there. It looks pretty cool But it came with um, maybe this is like a little utility pack here on her um, The purple is a little too vibrant here, but it's a pretty cool pack and then the Scarlet Psy, um, very terrible theme here. But honestly, I like stuff like this. Like that looks clean. This looks clean. I like this because they, they almost look kind of techy with like the case that they're sitting in. So maybe she's a Mandalorian archer. So call me crazy here, but haven't we got like so many members of the seven so closely released together? Well, we got the rock, right? We got the rock recently we got two outfits in this battle pass that were part of the seven set and now we got her as well so that's roughly four in the last few months it seems like a lot i had a lot of trouble trying to make combos that looked decent i even went look i souped as low as the superhero skin with metallic red and white because i couldn't find anything that i liked with the orientation and the i wanted to show it on the uh battle pass skin we got um, I don't think we have any colors that would look better here because we only have red and silver, but the outfits are very similar in style. There are slight differences, but I will say they're roughly like 70% the same, um, with what we got here. We can do this. We can go up and down. So this is what we got tonight. And this is what we got in the battle pass. You can see very similar boots, uh, maybe not around the knees, but at least like the shoes area. Very similar, the same uh, strap, or excuse me, same strap on her legs there on the right side of her thigh. Same strap, same belt. So very, very close similarities. And they're probably sisters or something, but still. Um, this is what I thought of right away with the back bling. She's got a lot of pointy stuff on the outfit, so it kind of makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling way too much for the combos. I'm sorry that I'm taking up so much of your time, but I had a hard time really deciding what I wanted to showcase with these wings. Um, yeah, she's kind of futuristic. It kind of works, kind of doesn't. Um, too futuristic for this, but the color scheme is there. That's what I came with, obviously. Um, we put it on Paradigm, one of my favorite skins. She's got a little bit of red, so we can make it work there. Um, X, it, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Then it starts Spangled Ranger. Um, honestly, even though it's not a fan favorite, I thought it looked pretty good on Valor. Um, yeah, the, the metals are slightly off in color, but she does have similar-ish armor looking things here, I guess. Um, look pretty good on Mecha Cuddle Master too. Kind of weird there. Futuristic skin with Versa. Yeah, I, I did not like the back bling at all. I just, there was a time in Fortnite when wings were super like far out there. Like we didn't get wings very often. Now we have so many wings. I'm just saying, regardless, if I go to the seven here, like I was rambling on earlier. So clearly these are not part of the seven here. Neither is this, this is season seven. So member of the seven, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have all the members of the seven now, and I feel like we got her, her, him, and him so closely released together is that just me like one two three four this was last season i believe if my memory is correct i believe it was last season and we got this and this like i don't know guys the last four members came out super quick and with that being said guys liking the video is always appreciated subscribing is free that is supporter creator p i z zero in the atom shop thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the live stream see you